What's going on everybody? It's almost 24 hours that I'm using iOS 18.5 developer beta 2 and now it's time to talk about how the day went, how the 24 hours went, how is the battery life and how it the device performed throughout the day. So I will be sharing the battery life stats for a day and I will also be sharing the geek pen score. So without any further delay, let's get jump into this video and see the how the battery went from last 24 hours. Uh, important disclaimer, it's just 24 hours. I was always take a couple of days to get stable, but still uh, results are surprising over here with the iOS 88.5 beta 2. So when I go into the settings and let me go to the battery stats, let the battery stats load. You can see this a straight line over here. Now that is the time when I was sleeping, I was not using my phone. So it didn't battery drained at all, not even a single percent, which is insane, which is really, really good and a really good sign of a battery life. Now let's get into the last 10 days. And this is the day when I was using the device running iOS 18.5 beta 2. I used almost 50% as you can see. And against that, I got 5 hours and 13 minutes screen on time, which is very decent, very nice. Now, during this time, I use YouTube, WhatsApp, Messages, Instagram, Geekbench, and MeFitness was also running in the background. Now, this screen on time is really, really nice. Like, it averages for almost 10 hours for the 100%, which is definitely really, really good. So, I'm really happy with the screen on time and battery life seem improved there is no battery draining at all and everything seems much better now it's time to talk about the performance now talking over the performance overall usage is really nice i really enjoyed my phone using today i haven't faced any sort of lag or any other issue everything was working buttery smooth things are really fine and if i go to the geekbench app or here to share the results into the CPU history. Now this is the score and it came out right after installing the update. 3346 on a single core while 8192 on a multi-core running I was 88.5 beta 2. Now single core is higher than the average one which is a plus point over here. Multi-core is also higher than the average one. So after using the device for a couple of hours I ran the test again and this test scores are even better. And it's 3358 on a single core, higher than the last one. 8317 on a multi core, which is also higher than the last one. Again, both scores, single core and multi core scores, are higher than the average one. So, scores are really, really good, which means on paper performance is looking to be very, very improved. Now, going into the GPU benchmark, this is a GPU benchmark that I ran right after installing the update. And this is one of the highest GPU benchmark I got on this device. It is 28,015, which is like higher than the average one, which is a plus point. Again, after using the device for a couple of hours, I tested the score again. Now I got even better score. I know slightly a couple of points over here, 28,023, but still it is higher than average and it is higher than the previous one, which is a big plus point. Overall performance seems really, really good on paper everything is working buttery smooth if you want me to test out anything any game or any specific app or anything you can let me know in the comment section below so far no battery draining is happening no overheating at all battery life is good performance is also good so i think ios 18.5 beta 2 is a really good overall update and we are heading towards a good ios finally Overall, things really nice. What do you think about this? What iOS version you guys are using? Let me know in the comment section below. This was all. This was just a quick, simple video talking about how it is performing, how things are going on. And I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.